Footings are the most important components of a structure. The main function of them is to transfer the loads of the structure to the underlying soil. Hence, it becomes very important to provide the proper size of footing to carry a given set of loads. The size of footing depends on the size of the column, the load it has to carry, and the soil bearing capacity. Let's quote an example in this regard to make it clear for you. Suppose we need to calculate the size of the footing for a column of size 230 mm into 230 mm, which is carrying a load of 212 kilonewton. The safe bearing capacity of soil is given as 150 kilonewton per meter square. So we have the given data. As per IS code, we need to add 10% extra load to the given load on footing. So the total load on footing will be equal to load on column, which is given as 212 kilonewton plus 10% of 212 kilonewton, which will be equal to 233.2 kilonewton. Now we need to calculate the area of footing. which is given by the formula area of footing equal to load upon safe bearing capacity total load is already calculated as 233 kN and the safe bearing capacity is given as 150 N per meter square on substituting these values area of footing will be equal to 1.55 meter square now we need to calculate the length of footing the required length of footing is calculated by using the formula Lf equal to d minus b upon two plus under root d minus b square upon four plus Af. While d is the depth of column, Lf is the length of footing, b is the width of column, and Af is the area of footing. We have d and b both equal to 230 mm, and the area of footing is already calculated as 1.55 meter square. On substituting these values, Lf will be equal to 1245 mm. or simply 1.24 meter hence provide the length of footing equal to 1250 mm the projection of footing for bending about x and y axis is given by cx equal to cy equal to lf minus d upon 2 while lf is the length of footing and d is the depth of column on substituting these values the projection of footing for bending about x and y axis will be equal to 510 mm now we need to calculate the width of footing which is given by the formula b plus twice cx while b is the width of column which is already given as 230 mm and cx is calculated as 510 mm on substituting these values the width of footing will be equal to 1250 mm hence the area provided for the footing will be equal to lf into bf which will be equal to 1.25 meter into 1.25 meter it should be noted that The minimum depth of footing should be kept as 150 mm and if possible a trapezoidal cross section should always be preferred. Let's quote one more example to make it more clear for you. Suppose we need to calculate the size of the footing for a column of size 300 mm into 450 mm which is carrying a load of 1200 kN and the safe bearing capacity of soil is given as 215 kN per meter square. As per IS code, we need to add 10% extra load, so the total load will be equal to 1200 plus 10% of 1200, which will be equal to 1320 kilonewton. The area of footing will be equal to load upon bearing capacity, which will be equal to 1320 upon 215, and the total will be 6.14 meter square. The required length of footing is calculated by using the formula. Lf equal to d minus b upon two plus under root d minus b square upon four plus Af. On substituting these values, Lf will be equal to 2.55 meter. Hence, provide the length of footing equal to 2600 mm or simply 2.6 meter. The projection of footing for bending about x-axis is given by Cx equal to Lf minus d upon two. Lf is already calculated as 2600 mm. and d is given as 450 mm on substituting these values cx will be equal to 1075 mm the width of footing is calculated by using the formula bf equal to b plus twice cx b is the width of column which is already given as 300 mm cx is already calculated as 1075 mm on substituting these values width of footing will be equal to 2450 mm or 2.45 meter 
the projection of footing for bending about y axis is given by cy equal to bf minus b upon 2 bf is calculated as 2450 and b is equal to 300 mm on substituting these values cy will be equal to 1075 mm hence we can provide the size of this footing equal to 2.6 meter into 2.45 meter so this was all about this lecture if you like my content please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future thank you